Hello, how's it going boys? What is up? Source back once again for yet another character impression. I need to change my language settings to English first, but okay, no no big deal. Alright, so we have uh, new Halloween characters that got introduced in this banner. We're gonna start off with Lich, because uh, why not, right? Alright, because Lich is cute. Alright, uh, all right, so Lich is clearly not dark anymore for some reason. Even though she clearly is meant to be dark, right? But uh, well, we clearly do not know anything about the game anymore because uh, that's how it is. Alright, she's win now. She has 20, 12, 55 HP. Hmm, that's one of the lower sides. 89, 25 attack. Uh, okay, Halloween Scream N. Massive wind damage to a fell 20% boost to Leech's charge bar. One turn skill cut. Skill cooldown cut. Is it as is this similar to the grand version? Haunting scepter. Six hit wind damage to a foe. Remove one buff. Hit to attack defense stackable base on caster's number of debuffs. Hit number increases. Oh, caster's debuff only. Oh, it's caster's debuff. That's kind of like a nerf to the grand version. <laughs> Rising corruption. Uh, hit to all foes and allies earth attack. Okay. Yeah, so it's the same, right? Yeah, this is the same as the uh, the grand version. Okay. So, hit number increases to 10. So, I'm assuming it's somewhat similar anyway. I need to bring up the grand version too. Okay. So, Cursed and Spooky is play undead in fact to caster. Can normal attack. At the end of turn, 20% boost to Leech's charge bar. Activate Haunting Scepter. Can be removed. Wait, so she can attack but she can auto cast that thing. Yeah, so she is technically weaker than her grand version. <laughs> Win allies. Uh... The only difference I see so far is just she has this spell. Win allies, creepy knight, win allies gain these effects in order based on their number of debuffs. Convert some turn base, uh... Oh. Oh, they're using it like that. Oh, so Death's, o Death's Oath thing, was it, what's it called? Death's Grace? Yeah, Death's Grace shit is now part of a passive instead. Uh, boost charge bar gain, boost to attack and damage cap. Ghost Parade. At the end of turn, when Leech's charge bar is 50 or higher, consume 30% charge bar to deal wind damage to all foes delay effect. I guess that's kinda okay. Toothache and suffering. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, sure. CA? Eh? Bruh, CA? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? CA sucks! <laughs> what? Um, numbers are, let's see. This one is... 6 hits. Up to 10 hits. Then base cap is 135k. So, this one is 10% up to 40? Okay. This one is the same, right? Is it the same? Yeah, okay, it's still the same. It's exactly identical. Yeah, all the numbers are exactly the same. 25% attack down. 25% defend down. 10% light attack down. I mean, yeah, they're all the same. The poison and putrefied is also the same. Then this one is just get 20% meter and activated shit. 20% boost to charge bar gain. 20% boost to attack, which is perpetuity modifier, and 10% boost to damage cap. At the end of turn, consume the 50% or higher, or consume 30% meter to deal 400% wind damage to all foes, which is around 635k damage. I mean, I guess it is. It does do a lot of damage, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I'm I'm actually thinking that this uh, Halloween leech is basically if you do not have Neo or something. <laughs> That's, that's what I'm getting out of this. If you do not have Neo 150, you use her. If you have Neo 150, I think you pre probably will just use Neo instead. <laughs> I feel like that's probably the way it is. 
<laughs> That's how I see it. Maybe other people may think otherwise, but you know. From what I see, yeah, she looks pretty okay. She looks very similar to the grand version, so that's good, right? So just she nukes a lot. Her base cap is really, really high, plus you win, right? So you have beaks. So getting supplemental on skill damage is not really that hard. And then the weapon's okay. Weapon's okay. I mean, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, the axe is like, there's no damage cap. So technically, you don't really need this. So the only thing I can see this is probably the most you want to use. Just use it for the hell of it as main hands kind of shit. At most, because this one's kind of like whatever, man, honestly. <laughs> and then this one's like, you, you're not going to make use of this like at all. Because Wind doesn't have, I don't know, axes. <laughs> Wind has no axes, so you don't really get this too. You basically only use it just for this anyway. So it's really no point to be honest. So yeah, you just use it for main hand purposes if you really want because it's an axe, right? Yeah, the only other axe you have is just Ra's weapon, right? So it's either that or yeah, if you too lazy to farm Ra, I guess you can just use that, <laughs> I suppose. But other than that, she, it really just feels like it's basically like... Uh, they just basically tweaked a little bit of what Leech originally has. And yeah, just put it in win. It's still really strong, yeah. It's still really strong, you get... You, you don't really get that much meter because she is consuming a, a extra here just to do extra nukes. And then whenever she has this activated, she just double nukes and shit. Well, then again, it's not really double nuke, but like... You only get the nuke if you have this, right? So that's kind of like the only unfortunate thing. Right? <laughs> How long is this? 5 turns. So it lasts for 5 turns. Cooldown is 8 turns, right? Yes, 8 turns. So it's like the same anyway. So that means you still need to... Yeah, you need to... If you want to go for like long fights again, you just use the usual Kango or CAT or whatever. You should be fine. Getting this... Uh, getting this to be... Like, have zero downtime is very, very easy because of this, which is kind of the same as the grand version too. Because the, I feel like the only main difference is that her delay from the grand version instead of on Ogi is now from he is now here. So she needs to consume meter to do her delay. That's why the only difference I would really say, like, her main shit is that she provides a little bit more to the party compared to... Uh, to compare to herself because the grand version this thing is actually just to herself rather than this one is just to everyone right so that's actually kind of nice because you get perpetuity buff attack up get that damage cap kind of shit extra meter gain which technically she has too right yeah technically she has that too yeah technically she has that as well the grand version technically has that as well so it's not really that different still really fucking good though i think the only really main thing is that if you really want to consistently uh, get her to to just nuke non-stop is you have this up all the time you just basically need to ogi twice right just to have this up permanently because you you want to get this up permanently right just so she can consistently press her s1 right you want her to always auto press s1 because the only way she does it on this version is that she needs this right Meanwhile, her uh, her grand version is as long as you have what? As long as you have debuffs, right? <laughs> as as long as any of your allies debuff or whatever, she'll just cast that shit. <laughs> it's like it's so much easier in comparison to this version. This version requires her to have this button. So in other words, I feel like she is technically still doing good amount of damage, but at the same time, the only main difference is that the grand version doesn't eat up a uh, meter from here, which is kind of negated in the way. But the other thing is that she can also auto. So in other words, you get extra auto uh, auto nukes as well, auto attacks as the extra incoming damage. While she doesn't really, this version doesn't really do that. But at the same time, you have like dispel, right? So that's kind of good. Getting extra dispel here is really nice. Then you get like uh, free debuffs over and over again because you press this, right? So 
this is 10%, right? So the moment you the moment you press this, it'll be automatically capped anyway, right? Because this is six six to ten hits, isn't it? Or some shit. So each hit will be will be ten percent, isn't it? So no matter what, even if she's not debuffed or anything, you're going to cap this, no? Isn't that how that works? So you're obviously going to cap the forty percent on the get go. So it's actually really nice. Especially for like, I don't know, Guild War full auto kind of shit. So that's really good. But yeah, I feel like end of the day, this is just, I would say it's like, if you have Neo, you probably want to use Neo instead. But if you have her, then yeah, I think just you can just use her anyway. I think either one is still good because uh, this is still relatively a nice buff to the team regardless. I think the, I think the, the, the main difference in this and the grand version is that you can heal her right yeah it does look like you can heal her because the grand version you cannot heal her she heals based on the turn based thing right that's the real big difference of the like the halloween versus grand version she can you can actually physically heal her rather than just not being able to heal at all so that's quite big, because technically it's like, she is actually healing herself already, or not more like healing the entire team already, just because of this, right? You're healing the entire team because of this, and then because it automatically triggers this shit. So it's like you already have death grace permanently, in a way, as long as you are if you have any form of debuffs. And then yeah, at the same time, if you have Katsilia in the back, I think the debuff shit that he has in his passive should apply to your party as well so it's kind of nice i suppose right so yeah it's pretty helpful right so overall i guess she's kind of okay by kind of okay i mean she's technically good but it's just that i mean it, it didn't felt like win actually needed a character like this <laughs> but it's, yeah i guess that's good anyway um Alright, I need to look at the EMP. Alright, EMP, she has... Two skill caps and two win attacks. That's kind of similar as her grand version. <laughs> That's actually almost identical to the grand version. The only thing that is different is that this win version has extra one elemental attack. The grand version is has one extra HP instead, so it's like... She is more attack on this version, which is which is good, I guess. So you just level the usual, I suppose. Just level this two, this two. The rest is level whatever you want. Because this is already like tier off points. You can max this out, you can max this out. <laughs> Cause also just level defense if you want instead of HP. Her HP is uh not that low. But not that high at the same time. It's kinda I I think her, her, I would say her HP is quite average as well, so not really needed anyway. Wait, hold on. Let me double check with the grand version because it's so similar to her grand version anyway. Let me see what the fuck did I put on her. So uh, maybe we can uh, use that as like reference or something. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. Now I ringed her down. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it looks almost identical anyways. Like, if you just minus the uh, the, the the gold rank anyway, I just probably will either use it on the defense or HP. Pretty much about it. The rest is technically, uh, yeah, I'll just put it on this few. It's the same shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty, uh, pretty standard. All right. But yeah, I think that's pretty much about it for... Leech, really good uh, version of her, but uh, doesn't really like, I feel like uh, you probably might want her for Guild War by the looks of it. She looks like it's really going to be helpful having her for Guild War for sure. No doubt about that. It's just whether or not if you really want to burn your, your spark funds right now for her, I suppose, if you really want that. But uh, anyways, that's all. I'm going to say about this set character. I'm going to go to the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Lol. Okay, bye.